Jurassic Park 3 holds so many mysteries and lore, and in the opening scene of Jurassic Park 3, a boat crew is mysteriously killed by something that lurks in the fog. The characters Ben and Eric are gliding above, they look down only to see fog, and then horrifyingly, the boat appears tattered and smeared with blood, and the crew members are nowhere to be seen. Neither the characters or the audiences know what happened, but if we watch closely, as well as some research, this will give you the answer. Though the movie never definitively says which fearsome creature attacks the boat drivers, it is possible to figure out the puzzle through context clues and storytelling. The monster in question is an aquatic beast or a flying predator. One dinosaur that makes a persistent appearance throughout Jurassic Park 3 is the Pteranodon. But there are several other dinosaurs which will come into question later on in the video. One answer is obviously the Pteranodon where it can fly over, catch fish and attack the boat with ease. But there are numerous things wrong with this theory. One, the velocity of the onslaught on the boat along with the smear of the blood left behind suggests a much bigger animal, one that could clamp its jaws around a human body and disappear back into the depths or sky. Point two is that the pteranodons were only released later on in the movie. Now one could argue that there are other pteranodons in the island as we see them in the Lost World Jurassic Park, but I find this quite unlikely. There is one creature that's said to be on Isla Sauna but isn't shown in the film, a Dinosuchus. A Dinosuchus resembles a giant crocodile that travels swiftly by water and could dispatch the crew in short order, but the Dinosuchus doesn't make it into the film and Jurassic Park likes to showcase its monsters, not really hide them. So what other horrors could be lurking in that fog in the water? Well one of them suggests a Tylosaurus from Jurassic Park the game. Now we know Jurassic Park the game to be soft canon and the Tylosaurus would have been contained in its own lagoon. Now little is known whether that lagoon would connect to the ocean of some sorts or if the Tylosaurus was transferred to Isla Sauna after the fall of Jurassic Park. Personally I find the Tylosaurus unlikely because it would have caused absolute devastation to the boat rather than just taking the crew members and going away. One possible horror which could have attacked the boat and gone away unnoticed is a plesiosaur. The long neck could have easily have snatched the crew members off off the boat and dived back down into the depths of the ocean. No one would have been none the wiser. It could also swim at such a speed to catch that boat because the boat was travelling at such a speed. And we also know that a plesio was kept in Jurassic Park and in Jurassic World. But I won't be discussing that in this video, go check out one of my other videos for that. We also know that it was meant to be featured in Dominion but was later cut so that plesiosaurus would have had to have been out in the world at some point and who knows, could have been off the coast of Isasauna and attacked the boat. But that is not the only one which could have attacked the boat. Oh no no no, we've got more coming up. Logically thinking, it would have had to have been a super fast, quick and an ambush attack, leaving minimal damage to the boat but attacking the prey directly and snatching it away because nothing is left on the boat, no remains as such, only some blood. So to me, they would have either had to have been dragged into the water and ripped apart or taken to the skies and taken to the island. Now the characters Ben and Eric are abseiling at the time and they likely would have seen any type of of aerial attack heading for the boat. But I will talk more about aerial attacks later, so I find Pteranodons attacking the boat very unlikely because they would have been spotted and seen, either A flying to the boat or B flying away with the prey in hand. So that leaves only an ambush attack from the depths of the ocean potentially. But the Pteranodons will feature later on in this video. We also know right as Enrique gets closer to a river basin on the island, you hear loud footsteps and a splash into the water, right as heavy waves hit the boat. The boat is then violently shaken and largely destroyed with both men gone. The amount of damage to the boat and the speed which the men were killed and eaten is a strong indicator that the Spinosaurus possibly did this as well as the fact that the Spinosaurus would attack humans unprovoked. Although I do believe if the Spinosaurus did attack the boat it would give much more devastation than a few ripped parasails and likely would have been a very loud affair. As much as I would love it to have been the Spinosaurus because we do know it's also a great ambush predator and can swim silently as we see later on in the film in Jurassic Park 3, I find it unlikely that the Spinosaurus would be out swimming at sea. So where does that actually leave us and what did actually attack the boat? Now digging deep into the lore and the script of Jurassic Park 3, we actually find out that it was supposed to be Pteranodons which attacked the boat. Now Jurassic Park 3's script was actually 
actually being written as it was being filmed, so it's a bit of a mess in regards to continuity. Now, in the original script, Grant and the crew were meant to find the boat and explore it, where they see three huge claw marks in the boat. Upon leaving the boat, they're then later set upon by a group of pteranodons, which then attack a helicopter, and that is basically the end of the film at that stage. This is one of several endings used for Jurassic Park 3, but were cut. Now, it having three claw marks in the boat is a big sign to me that they could have potentially used that for the Spinosaurus rather than the Pteranodons, but looking at it logically, the Pteranodons also have three claws, so could have easily have done that as well, and the title for the original Jurassic Park 3 had the three mark, obviously, with a Pteranodon silhouette over the top of this. Is this a coincidence? Hmm. So the original script was saying it was a Pteranodon, but the actual screenwriting and storytelling suggests something else. Because how how could them pteranodons easily pass by the two bodies which were floating in the sky, not being seen, attack something in fog from the air which would be very difficult and then swoop away without being noticed by Eric and Ben yet again? It just doesn't make sense to me. So although the original script does say it was pteranodons, I don't think the actual movie and storytelling suggests that. I'd like to think it's a much darker tone and a much darker ending to them two crew members where they snatched off the deck of that boat and taken to the depths by some unknown sea creatures such as the Polisiosaurus? Or as the film suggests, was it the Spinosaurus ramming into the side of the boat, they both fall in, and the Spinosaurus eats them in the water along with other aquatic reptiles? Whatever it is, we can all agree that the crew members actually met a grisly end, and if them Pteranodons did pick them up off the boat and they managed to escape unseen, they would have been taken off back to their nests, potentially even eaten alive by their young, just like we see the Jurassic Park 3 scene with Eric. Either way, it's a chilling and horrific end. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Check out all my other videos on the channel and a massive thanks to my YouTube members as always. Thank you guys. I'm Shadows and I'll see you in the next one. Shadows out.